Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Shodwani once again from learn-machine.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most frequently asked question again, that what are the different exceptions you have faced in real time in Selenium? So the moment you start attending interviews for automation, you might come across this question that tell me certain Java exceptions that you have faced, tell me certain Selenium exceptions that you have faced while doing automation. So this is what exactly we are going to discuss in this video. Watch the video till the end because at the end we will talk about how you can remember these exceptions because I will be discussing about multiple exceptions but how to remember which you can explain in interviews I will be discussing at the end. So let's start. See the moment to talk about this also is one of the interview question what is the parent exception of all the exceptions in Selenium. So answer is web driver exception. So all the exceptions that you will face in Selenium will have a parent class called web driver exception. And you can see the hierarchy here, right? Web driver exceptions is actually a child class of runtime exception. It have a parent class called exception, throwable object and so on. But all the exceptions that we will discuss will have a parent class called web driver exception. Please make a note. Now the moment you write the first line of Selenium, let's say the moment you say driver.find element, right? Now if you don't find the element, you will be getting one exception called no such element exception. So this is the exception. So I'm assuming that you have written locator correctly, but the value is wrong. For example, I'm looking for driver.find element by ID Mukesh. If Mukesh does not exist, you will be getting no such element exception. So if you notice this, this is the class which I'm talking about, no such element exception. Now, interesting part is the parent class of this is not found exception. So all the not found exception is part of this hierarchy. What I mean, you can see no alert present exception, no such context exception, no such cookies exception, no such element exception, no such frame, no such side or root and no such window exception. Now most of the exceptions you can guess easily. So for example, no such window exception. The moment you try to switch to a new window, if that window does not exist, okay, for example, you have given ID that is not valid or the name that you have given does not is does not exist. Anything which is not present or it is not valid and if you're not able to switch, you will get no such window exception. Now, the moment you start working with shadow dome, right? <clears throat> now, it was, if it is not able to find the root, shadow root, you will get no such shadow root exception. No such frame exception the moment you try to switch to a frame and it does not exist you will be getting no such frame exception for example if i say driver dot switch to dot frame mukesh again and mukesh frame does not exist no such frame exception in a similar way if element is not present no such element exception no alert present exception it means the moment you say driver dot switch to dot alert and if alert is not present immediately or it it is not present at all you will be getting no alert present exception. All these exceptions which I'm showing is coming from this. Okay. So for example, no such session exception. So if the session ID is null and if you try to access the driver again, you will be getting no such session exception. For example, you have written a lengthy script, let's say around hundred steps. Line number 98, you call driver dot quit. Now still we have two steps and now if you try to access the driver, it has a null. So it will throw you no such session exception. Timeout exception. So whenever you use, let's say, web driver wait or fluent wait, if that particular condition does not satisfy in a given time period, you will be getting timeout exception. Unexpected tag name exception. This is mostly comes when we are dealing with drop downs. And let's say you have given so let's say you're using select class, but the tag is not a select tag. You will be getting unexpected tag name exception. Unhandled alert exception is basically whenever there's a page and there's an alert, JavaScript alert, and you are not handling it. The moment you have JavaScript alert, you cannot interact with the web page until you are not accepting the alert. So you will be getting unhandled alert exception. Stale element reference exception is basically whenever you try to find element and the element is stale now or that locator is stale. The moment you try to 
do any operation you will be getting stale element reference exception so this mostly happens whenever you tried using a click method and the page got reloaded so the previous references got discarded and if you try to access again you will be getting stale element ref reference exception invalid selector i guess we have discussed already okay invalid selector is basically the moment you use xpath and the xpath syntax is wrong you use css selector the css selector syntax is wrong and if you try to use it at runtime you will be getting invalid selector exception i mentioned around 10 15 so when you start giving interviews at least go through 10 so that you will be remembering at least 5 6 if you just go through 5 you might remember 2 or 3 so my recommendation would be minimum go through 10 to 15 exception and so uh, when it comes to interviews you should be able to answer 5 to 6 now the trick which i was talking about you can just remember not found exception that is the parent class of all the not found exception so if you remember not found exception no such element exception no such frame exception no such window exception no alert present exception no such shadow root exception so you can easily draw the diagram when you remember not found exception and all these exceptions which i told you is coming from this so see this timeout exception stale element refer reference exception unexpected tag name unhandled alert uh, exception unreachable browser exception session not created and so on obviously it's not possible to remember and mention each and every exception but in interviews five to six is more than enough and if they ask you how do you fix this then you should be able to understand what is the exception what are the fixes not only one solution if you have multiple solution try to propose that now the quick task for all of you i want you to find out when do we get screenshot exception and when do we get javascript exception if you just spend 10 to 15 minutes you will be able to figure it out when do we get javascript exception and when do we get screenshot exception if you already know the answer let me know in the comment section but if you don't know i want you to spend some time find out how we get this and how to fix this okay that's all about this video i hope this video will help you if yes then do share this with your friends colleague and if you want more videos like this let me know in the comment section if you have any question that you want me to cover that also you can let me know in the chat section or comment section yeah so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care